nobody Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Did it over text, didn't call me Still got love for your mommy I know you wanna be somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody Hey you guys <clears throat> Welcome back to my channel And I look really pink But I have my um, Light on And I just kind of just woke up um, It's Saturday I'm getting ready to go With the family To um, Haynes Point And we're going to do some fishing I don't like this lighting so let me turn my light on Hold on and sorry y'all if y'all can hear my fan in the back. There we go. Fix my camera setting. So like I was saying, I'm getting ready to go down to the water with my um, family and we're getting ready to do like, I don't know if my dad's gonna cook out or if he's going I know they're gonna be fishing, but I don't know if we're gonna like stop at the wharf or get some seafood or whatever. So, but excuse the way I'm looking. Um, I literally just woke up, so I'm about to get up, get dressed, and let's head out. Italian food, officina. That's what it sounds like. Like those donuts were good. I had those before. I think we tried the little food. Yeah, what's this? Rose and fat food. See what the grill is about. Pressure from. Can I get you a drink? Red. That's because the sun is getting ready to go down. 
But today has been a great day. The weather has been nice. And especially since we've been having a, um, the wildfire thing that's been going on in Canada, um, it feels good to just be able to be outside. So I'm actually excited to go back to work on Monday and Tuesday because we don't have any, the kids will be in one place all day. So like I'll just be able to clean my room up and do everything I need to do. Um, and yeah, so that will be exciting. Down to the last two days of school. I'm gonna show y'all my room because I didn't, I already started taking stuff down because um, I just wanted to like get a jump start. But pretty much like, I'm, I'm super excited that the school year is over. I kind of want to find another like job for the summer to like make some extra money. Um, but I don't know yet, so we'll see. I'm about to eat me some chips and finish chilling with the fam. But I just wanted to come and check in with y'all and let y'all know what I'm doing. Be back to come in and check in with y'all in a little bit. Dante, say hi to my vlog. Hmm? Say hi to my vlog. No. <laughs> Alright, I'll check in with y'all later. You guys, look at the sun. It's like, it's going down. Y'all see it? It's like dropping. Hey y'all, so it's Sunday and I'm on my way to my niece's recital. Um, today is her last dance, if you will, because she is interested in doing cheer. So she's over the whole dance thing. Um, so she's gonna be cheering. And I stopped and got her some flowers. I'm running a little bit late. I wanted to be there by 2.15. Doors open at 2.30 and it's kind of like first come first seat, whatever. So I'm trying to get, make sure I get a good seat. Um, but my way said I'm gonna be there by 2.35. So it doesn't officially start until three. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get like a good seat or whatever. I don't have anything else planned for today. I might just end up going back to um, my sister's house after this recital because I think she's gonna do like crabs or something like that. So we're gonna do that and go, I guess go back to her house. And then we should be winding down the night and Monday we'll be approaching tomorrow. Um, back to work. But other than that, if not, then I'll just come back on and talk to you guys tomorrow and show you guys exactly like stuff that I'm doing. And I'm gonna show you guys my room. That was the other thing. I wanna make sure that I show you guys that my room is being cleaned out because end of the year and I can't um hopefully I get to keep my same room but we just precaution wise we have to we're required to take our stuff down out of our room um so yeah I'll come back to talk to y'all when I a little bit later because I'm driving and I don't want to be holding my camera dash thing is it got broke so I gotta buy another one so I'll come back and talk to y'all when ever good morning you guys Hold on y'all, let me put my seatbelt on. Safety first. Um, so I'm up early today. Um, I know I told y'all yesterday is my last day of school, but I have to go into the building today to kind of just like check out with like IT, our principal. So we have like no for sure, for sure what our assignments are for um, the upcoming school year. But first, before I go to work, I'm actually going to be heading to D.C. because the event that I told you guys I was going to yesterday, it's a uh, two-day event. So today we're actually going, um, and it's going to be like a part two. So um, once I get to work, I'll have some things I need to do, and then I can just show y'all like my room and stuff and how empty it is because we're done. Yeah, we're done. And... Um, yeah, so I need to make sure my hair is like clashing with my seats. It looks a little crazy. But I gotta get all this stuff out my car. Like it's stuff everywhere. So um plan to do that this weekend. And yeah. There was a lot going on with like networking for that long for like two hours long. Like that's not something that I'm usually like doing. So I just needed like to get myself together. 
Um, didn't even take a nap. I thought I was gonna take a nap, but I just laid down in bed, watched a little Bridgerton. I'm finally getting into Bridgerton. I think I'm late to the party, but actually, it's it's cool. It ain't <clears throat> the best, best. Like, it ain't like, oh my gosh, this is the show that I want to see like all the time. Da 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 da. It's just, it's it's okay show. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, maybe I'll come back and show you guys a little bit of what the, um, what it looks like inside of the place that I'm going to today. And then I'll come back and show you once I actually get into, get to work. So yeah, I'll do that. So see y'all in a bit. My interview is at 11. It's 10.56. So, as soon as I park, I gotta hurry up and rush into the mall because I don't wanna be late. And I feel like I just, I don't know, I just feel like I have more time than I actually did. So, if I end up working here, which I'm praying that, you know, putting prayers up in the air, that I do get the job because I wanna do something different. And I wanna be able to put some more experience on my resume so i'm excited i really been getting into zara clothes lately it used to be like i used to say oh zara is like too expensive like for no reason it's nothing but a like I always hear people say like this a uh, high-end h&m like clothing but i i've actually started to like like their clothes i've been going to them a lot lately like purchasing items for like work and just personal stuff so um, I'm excited if I get, you know, once I start working there, which I'm, like I said, I'm speaking it into existence that I am going to be working there. Um, and it should be fun. Like, I've never worked in retail, really. I have hospitality experience where I work with, like, customers and, like, I've used, like, a cash register and things like that before, but not necessarily, like, stocking items and all that other stuff. So, um, so I want to just take y'all with me. But I have on a crop top from Pretty Little Thing. Y'all, I was struggling this morning a little bit because my bra, it's a, um, a strapless bra from Victoria's Secret that I had for a while. But I also had to put my nipple co covers underneath, which those, I was gonna wear the nipple covers by itself, but that didn't work um, because like my, pretty much TMI, but those were like poking through my shirt. So I was like, okay, well let me just put the nipple covers on underneath the bra and hopefully that you know mess them because once i leave here i have to go to um my work cookout for my um department at my school and it's supposed to be at uh, one of my co-workers houses so i just wanted to like i don't want to give like what i would want to wear which would be like shorts or something i just decided to throw on like these linen like pants or whatever so i have those on and these Oh, my pants are from Zara, and my shoes are from, I want to say Pretty Little Thing. Maybe Boohoo. Maybe Pretty Little Thing. I don't know. Something. But they're like um, these lace-up uh, platform sandals. So once I leave here, then I'll come back and talk to you guys so you guys know, like, what, how it went and, you know, all of that good stuff. So I'll be back to talk to you guys. Thank you, ma'am. Let me get out of here first. So, I 
went to the interview. First of all, let me say, when I got here, I was rushing, trying to hurry up and get in, because I told you I was already running a little bit, a little bit late, because I had to stop and get gas. Um, I went in, got in there, talked to whoever I needed to talk to, so they can tell, let me know, or so I can tell them that I was there for the interview. <clears throat> and finally found the guy. He came out, and he was like, you know, um, can you just fill out this application, and then I will pretty much um, come back and talk to you in just a second and we'll talk about it and I said okay cool so I was expecting that he was gonna come back and we were going to sit like in the back and kind of like have a thing you know a whole like talking about it and everything but we didn't he literally was like, okay like let's just go over here and talk for a second and it was hard to kind of like really focus for real on like what I wanted to say because the music is like doom 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 you know how like if you've been in Zara you know how the music is so um, how do I get out of here? So when I got in there, the guy, you know, he was talking and he asked me to um, tell him a little bit about myself. I gave him the whole spiel. This is my first time I ever had an interview, guys, and I actually said that I'm, hey, like, I'm a content creator. Like, I'm so, like, proud of myself because I used to be like, well, ain't nobody trying to hear that, like, why are you telling people that you're a content creator? But I'm glad that I'm starting to do it now because like I'm trying to, I'm really trying to be serious with this and I'm just super excited. Like, so basically I got the job, okay? So I'm a sales associate. I mean, not a sales associate. I applied for sales associate. Didn't get the sales associate job because he said he already hired a bunch of sales associates. So I'll be in the stock room in the back, which I'm totally fine with that. Y'all know my introvertedness was like, yes, put me in the back. So, like, doing online orders and all of that stuff, like, I'm already familiar with because, like, I have my own uh, online store. Now, I don't know how, like, what the traffic would be. I want to be able to get, I'm just excited. Like, I'm so happy that, like, I've never got a retail job before. And to get a job at, like, Zara, like, I've tried to apply to so many different places and never, like, really got what I wanted. Like, you know, the job that I wanted. But now, like... I'm literally about to be driving out here. And left, and the crazy thing about it, the manager, he said he started out, started out as a sales associate. And, oh, and he lives in, he lives close by where I live. So it was like, okay, like, so he asked me how long did it take me to get here? I said maybe 30, 35 minutes, because I usually use express lanes, which, you know, that is, I do use express lanes, but if I don't have to, then I don't. Um, but he asked me would I mind coming in at like so my schedule would be like coming in at six in the morning which I'm assuming that I would get off kind of early too and yeah like I'm super super excited he was like I would like to offer you a position of stock room I'm excited, I'm excited. I don't even know what to say like because I, I I knew I was gonna get the job but I was still kind of just like hmm I don't know how this is gonna play out you know what I'm saying so I'm trying to hurry up and get back on my side before the traffic gets crazy 11:42 when I got there, almost 11, and the traffic is like kind of piling up on the other side. But your girl works at Zara, woo! And I'm so excited because for my friends, for all of us that we about to be getting, you know, the discounts and da 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 da, like yeah, friends and family me. But that's about it. I just want to share the news, and like I said, the interview was every bit of maybe 10 minutes, and he just asked me about my experience and how, you know. I feel like it aligns and so I just told him that like I was just up front and just try to be myself like I don't feel like I'm the best interviewer but I tried my I did try my best to say like all the things that I feel like I needed to say so yeah but here we are <laughs> so I'll be back to talk to you guys all right you guys so I'm actually back in the building at work um, I literally came just so I could take this quick little test real quick and get like my last few little, so my, this container here and my refrigerator from out of here. Um, but let me show y'all my room. So I ended up leaving like these boards up and that stuff that's up there. Um, I took everything else down. This is the room. So, as y'all can see, everything is pretty much literally empty. All my stuff, college wall, everything. And yeah, so 
I'm hoping that I get this room again next year because I really enjoyed it. Only thing is that it doesn't have enough outlets. Um, but that's pretty much it. Like I'm here right now. I'm gonna go have lunch with my mom at 12.40, one o'clock, something like that. 12.30, one o'clock. And um, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. So I do have to come back next week and get a few things. But other than that, like that's it. And hopefully I start this new job. Well, hopefully I start, um, I'm hoping that I start like maybe the weekend of next weekend, of next week, because I want to like get some stuff done. And I kind of just want to like re relax a little bit between the rest of this week and next week. So yeah, and the other thing too, I'm thinking about changing my hair. I don't know what, I think I want to do a sleek braided ponytail, but I'm going to see probably next week I'm going to do it. Um, but yeah, so I'll come back and talk to y'all in just a second. So you guys, I am in Virginia. Getting ready to go eat with my mom. We're just going to Cheesecake Factory because we're not really I'm trying to get in and out. So I'm not in this traffic. And I tried to find me some street parking because I don't want to be, I don't want to have to pay for the garage. So, let me show y'all what it looks like out here. It's very, very pretty. I'll be moving to this, I don't know specifically if it's going to be this area, but I definitely want to be like, close by. I just have to get out of Maryland. So I am getting ready to go eat and I'll probably come back and talk to y'all once that's done. Um, my last video just premiered so if you haven't watched that already go ahead and do so and I'll be back to talk to you guys. y'all so i just got back in the car probably gonna end up doing my hair today instead of tomorrow i have to go get some braiding hair and um gotta get some braiding hair because i want to do like a braided ponytail but i need like i want it to be super long and y'all seen my hair like that before. Like I had it like that at the beginning of the year. But I don't know, I'm gonna miss having red. Like a red hair. Like I really do love this color on me, but I'm ready for something sleek and I ain't gotta like really deal with. So I'm gonna go to the beauty spot store on the way home and get some, maybe I should just wait. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow because I am a little tired and I don't really feel like that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get it tomorrow and I'm gonna record me doing my hair so that y'all can see. I've never done, well, actually, I have done. I've done a braided ponytail on myself before, but it was, it was like a, it was when I had my hair, it was kind of like orange. Yeah, that was the color. And um, it was cute. I did it on myself. I was, I really didn't know what I was doing. And my hair, it, the, the braiding hair just happened to just be perfectly matched with the, um, with my hair color because. I didn't know what to do for real but it blended perfectly so oh y'all and I, the other thing so I, I need to make a bucket list of things that I want to do over the summer because I'm ready to just like go out and have some fun but I don't want to spend a whole lot of money so I'm thinking that I'm just going to I'm thinking that I'm just going to uh like I said, I wanted to go to the zoo 
and maybe even find a zoo in another city and just drive i want to go to some amusement parks like all that all that so i gotta figure out what exactly i want to do but as you guys can see i'm in traffic i'm in traffic trying to get to the house this is why i don't really like going out because i literally just put gas in the car and i'm not here for wasting the gas um brb <laughs> 